So you want to hold your crush's hand. The answer is actually pretty simple. You just play Yu-Gi-Oh. I know that sounds crazy. All right, just let me explain. So your goal of locking fingers can only be accomplished with this little card. I know it's a JPEG on a phone right now. I ordered it in the mail for this video. Um, it's been weeks. I'm pretty sure my vampire of a mailman stole it for themselves, but that just goes to show how many people are after this card. It must work. Just saying. Now about this card, how is it gonna get you to hand-holding bliss? Let's go through it and read it together. Offer your opponent a handshake. That's the key sentence right there. That is what we need to open the opportunity. But you'll see later it says if they accept your handshake, meaning it's a choice now. So they could choose to accept it or deny it. And uh, you might be panicking a bit like, oh, they, they could just deny the handshake. No. No, they can't if you have this other card with you. Unity, a card that I also ordered and probably, again, stolen by my mailman. But if this card is in your graveyard, it's like this place where all your monster cards that are defeated go or just spells and traps you've used go. Anyways, if it's used and it's in your graveyard while you activate this friendship card, they can't say no to the handshake. They have to accept it. Boom, boom, checkmate. Unfortunately, the bad news is uh, the, the main card, the friendship one, is a bit expensive on the expensive side. Like $20 if it's damaged, but in prime condition, it's like $100. But there's no true price on true love, right? Go get them. Preferably, I, if you go to the site, order from a user called Hanzai1998. No affiliation to me, by the way. I'm it's a random user just buy from them uh, they'll they'll treat you right <laughs> unity on the other hand is a bit cheaper and uh, you could do something with that or you could do the this tactic I did as a kid where I would take the PNGs of the cards print it out and then put it on a, uh, another cheap card and there voila you got it you could try that also when you get to the hand holding part just don't be a creep about it. Just be normal. You know, just don't don't freak out. Don't have the sweats or anything. Just it's a game. Shake hands. Boom. You got your goal done. Now the question is, how are you gonna get there? Let's go into that a bit more detailed. So first off, you don't really need to know the ins and outs of Yu-Gi-Oh. You don't have to be a professional. Just make sure you got these two cards, and the rest could just be monster cards that or like summonable at least. I would say preferably get a monster that uh, your crush might be interested in. You could use that as a talking point when you summon them. If they like penguins, sure, penguins. If they like mushrooms, mushrooms. If they like sentient humanoid carrots, you could do that too. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh has every kind of creature you could think of. Seriously, they have sushi ships in this game. I. Uh, it was strange coming back to Yu-Gi-Oh after all these years. All right, so how are we gonna do this? If you know your crush, if you're friends with your crush, this makes it way easier. You just go up to them and say, hey, uh, I'm, I'm getting into Yu-Gi-Oh again, or if you're already into Yu-Gi-Oh, just say, can you play a game of Yu-Gi-Oh with me? Set it up like that. It's just two friends playing Yu-Gi-Oh. If you don't know your crush, your crush doesn't know you exist, this is the first step you're gonna have to do is start a conversation get to know them talk to them and as the it progresses like over time then invite them to a Yu-Gi-Oh match i mean it shouldn't be such a big deal like uh, just treat treat them like a person uh, they're not some sort of angelic being that it's hard to communicate with them start off with uh, how's your day and then go from there share some hobbies with it you know slowly get some get to know them and then eventually you could uh, actually go on with the rest of this plan which is the next step so now that you hypothetically got your crush interested in playing a Yu-Gi-Oh match with you just for fun you know it doesn't have to be a big deal Go first, all right? Go first and make sure you have these two cards and a monster you could summon in your starting hand of five. Uh, it's a casual duel. I know this is technically cheating, deciding what cards are in your hand, but it's a casual duel. 
it, it's nothing, nothing too big here. And the first step you're gonna want to do is summon the monster. That monster, uh, again, make sure it's something your crush might be interested in. So they'll look at it and like, oh, this artwork's cute and whatnot, and just go on a conversation, a little tangent about that for a few seconds or so, and then move on to the next step, which is activating Unity. Now you select the monster. It'll get the stat boost. Uh, regardless, it, the effect doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure Unity gets into the graveyard. Once it's in the graveyard, then you bring out the Yujo friendship card. Activate that. Boom, bam. The, the handshake has to be accepted. And there you go. Congrats. You held your crush's hand. Now what? The, the sky's the limit, but buddy. You had a conversation. You... Uh, socialized by playing a hobby with your crush and now you've held their hand it, it, take it from here the tricycles are off it, you could ask them out or you could continue bonding with them maybe ask them to go to a movie with them it, it, you could do anything now it, well, maybe not anything. Don't go like trying to fight a pack of wolves or something. But you get what I mean, right? You, you took the steps. You, you came out of your shell. You played a game with your crush. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. The thing is, here's where it comes. I made this video for Valentine's Day because, well... This holiday, it can get uh, decent people down. So if you're sad that you're single because of this holiday, just know that this is just a corporate uh, holiday in a sense. It was adopted by corporations to sell their goods. Nothing more, nothing less. And well, you don't really need a day to appreciate your loved ones. Same way you don't need Mother's Day or Father's Day to appreciate your mom or dad. That should pretty much be every day. And uh, I despise these holidays because they remind people of what they don't have or what they don't have anymore. Like imagine someone who's lost their parents, Mother's Day, Father's Day coming around, and that wound is now fresh again in a sense for some people. Some people are able to be strong about it, but it's just... It, these holidays don't matter, man. You, you don't need them. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, there's a big fish in the sea, you'll find somebody somewhere out there. Because th that's, uh, that's not really the point of any of this video that I'm making. It's that you should be happy with yourself, with your own company. It's good to be single. There's nothing wrong with it. And if your goal is to find someone to be happy one day, that's okay too. But just make sure you start uh, with yourself. Love yourself first. Because if you don't love yourself, how can you expect to love someone else, you know? Uh, that relationship might not go the way you want it. So lay the foundation. Improve yourself. Be happy with yourself. Enjoy your company. And the skies, well, not the skies, I already used that line. I'm not going to recycle my lines. I don't do recycling. But yeah, it, the path is open for you. D don't, don't, don't get down about it. But yeah, I uh, made this for just the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and whatnot. But then I was like, oh, Valentine's Day is coming. I'll just lump it together. And voila, this video is here. So I hope you got entertained by this. And if you are dealing with any problems and whatnot, just know that it'll be all right. And uh, I know that's a very simplification kind of answer for all that, but I, I honestly think it'll be all right because you're watching this. You Think about it. All the problems, all the drama, issues, dilemmas you've been through, they've gone. Whatever you're currently dealing with, that'll, that'll be in the past too. You have made it this far, all right? So d don't don't... Put yourself down that you're worthless or useless or any of that you're not you've gotten here and you'll keep going i i say that because i myself see what i've gone through and i'm still here i'm still kicking i'm still punching and i'm gonna keep on going and i have faith that you will too but yeah that's all there is and i'll see you in the next one